I don't know, let's work it out. So FYI, that is the uh, production of sulfur trioxide, which is used to make sulfuric acid. And my equilibrium concentrations are written there. One molar, two molar, four molar. Now those are going to stay the same. They're independent of any messing about I do with the equation's coefficients. Those are unchanging. So let me write out the equilibrium constant expression, Kc, and put in my equilibrium concentrations. Oh, that's nice, and that gives me 8. Again, I'm ignoring the units for clarity on this video. So if I change the coefficients in the equilibrium equation, is that going to change my value for Kc? So let me adjust Kc to reflect the new reality. And put the numbers back in. Well, look at that, it's different. So messing with the coefficients does change the value of Kc. In fact, I halved the coefficients. And Kc became the square root of what it was before. The square root of 8 is 2.8. Oh, there's some sort of relationship there. So if you half the coefficients, Kc is raised to the power half. Let's see if that was just a fluke. So let me double the coefficients now from what they were originally. Put in my numbers again. And remember, 1, 2 and 4 molar, they are unchanging. That's the equilibrium concentrations. And Kc is now 64. OK. So if you double the coefficients, Kc is raised to the power 2. So that seems to be the relationship. And if you triple the coefficients, then you're going to raise Kc to the power 3. Let me just zoom in on that table a bit. All righty. So what if an equilibrium is reversed? Well, this is the uh, classic contact process again. Let me write out the equation for Kc. And let's say the value is 8 over 1. Now, if I reverse the equilibrium, like so, well, I'm going to have to invert Kc. And actually, the value for Kc is also inverted. So it's now 1 eighth. So reversing an equilibrium, or reversing an equation, inverts Kc. And finally, what if you have a sequence of equilibria? What happens to Kc then, overall? Well, let me add up these two equations to get my final equilibrium equation. And what happens to Kc? You multiply them. So 500. So if you add equations, you're going to have to multiply the Kc's together. And I'm assuming everything's a gas. That's what the G means. So in summary, raise Kc to the power of whatever the coefficients have been multiplied by. If you reverse the equation, you need to invert Kc. And if you're adding equilibria, multiply the Kc values together. And we're done.